I want you to say after me, Lord, I believe in you. Say it with conviction and truth. Lord, I believe in you. I believe in your power. I believe in your grace. Verse 1, Psalm 82, verse 1. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Verse 2 says, How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Verse 3 says, Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the hands of the wicked. Verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness, and the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6. I have said, I have said, just follow me, I know you've read it many times. I have said, stop there. Go to verse 7. But although I have said, ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. I have said, it's not a lie that I declared it. Yet your results may not be consistent with what I have said. I have said, it didn't matter what he said. The fact that he spoke should mean that there must be a result. I have said, how many of you know when God speaks, it's supposed to happen? Bible says, I have said. God speaking by himself. And then verse 7 says, But you shall die like mere men, in spite of the fact that I have said. I've said it again and again, that between thus saith the Lord, and it came to pass, is a process. Are we together now? I will keep drumming this so that we will understand. God, please listen, God is not a magician. God is not a soothsayer. God is not a herbalist. Everything in the kingdom, listen, everything in the kingdom will require participation. Participation in order to receive any manifestation from it, anything at all. The cheapest thing we have in this kingdom is salvation. And even salvation as free as it is would require you making a declaration according to Romans 10 from verse 8 to 10. The word is nigh thee in your mouth and in your heart the word of faith which we preach. Right? That if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you shall be saved. It says for with the heart the man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation so there is always please listen there is always a requirement there is always a condition and for as long as we are unwilling to both find out and receive grace to diligently fulfill our part of the equation although god has spoken but it may never come to pass in our lives are we together i kept thinking about this honestly while i was on my way coming and i said lord please can you just just it looks very simple but a man can spend an entire lifetime not seeing the power and the glory of god in his life simply because of our um not understanding or not receiving grace to partner with god are we together ye are gods koinonia and all of you are children of the most high but but something happened in the equation that will still make you die like men, men although not destined to be that way are we together there must be a contribution on your own part to be healed of that sickness please listen listen you know and, and, and I think that the problem is the way we men of God have communicated the truth to God's people. We make it look like the fact that it has been done. Um, just believe it and it's over. That's a joke. It's a big joke. Did you hear what I'm saying? It's a big joke. No. Believing is not faith. Believing is only part of faith. Faith is an equation. 
faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction believing only sets the pace for you to act with understanding but believing in itself as we teach will never bring you results are we together now so if i have a terminal disease brothers and sisters joshua selman alone will never be able to get the result you have a role to play everyone say i have a role to play now the trouble is many believers are not interested in finding out their own part did you know the bible does not even put pressure on us to learn what god should do the focus is on our own part because there are certain mysterious dimensions of god's own side that we may never understand the bible says his ways are past finding we focus on finding out what god should do and we pay very little attention to what we should do apostle nothing is moving in my life why is that so i can tell you among other reasons there is a level of inaccurate understanding or inaction on your own part to be able to allow the power of god to be released in that respect are we together the disciples walked with jesus for three and a half years it did not guarantee their transformation they saw miracles they saw different things when jesus asked them the revelation of the word none of them had the revelation of the word although they had been close the word asked them and they could not answer the utopian enoch was reading his bible when the spirit of god caught philip and when he met him right at the chariot he said understandest what thou readest and i've told us again and again that understanding is only perfected when your side of the equation has been revealed you cannot say you understand a thing until you know the role you have to play if you study scripture and all you see are promises wonderful all you see are prophecies wonderful all you see are the vows of god over your life wonderful but it may never come to pass have i not said you should be blessed have i not said you should prosper have i not said with long life shall he satisfy you and show you his salvation have i not said the path of the justice as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter have i not said none of them in zion will say i am sick have i not said you have the mind of christ have i not said no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper do you believe this yeah have i not said you have been raised up with christ far above principalities and powers thrones dominions and every name that is named not only in this world this dispensation but even that which is to come but you see the issue is not what god has said we are not in doubt god cannot lie but why is it that our lives largely do not reflect the reality of what god has said i don't think it's that we don't believe god i truly think we believe him but the issue is the inaccurate understanding of the roles we have to play to commit god please listen you commit god by doing certain things good master what must i do to be saved not good master do you want to save me good master what do i do to be saved for 12 years that woman had been laboring with hemorrhage the issue of blood and the bible says she had that jesus was coming around and while she saw other people touching him she told herself look i i know that i have a role to play i always liken the miraculous to doctors and you know hospitals and patients you don't see hospitals moving on the road calling patients a hospital is stationed with consultants are we together men who have been trained capable of addressing many cases it's up to the patient to be serious enough about his healing when a patient tells you the sun is too hot i can't go to the hospital um that's a diagnosis on its own it means that the patient is not desperate enough for healing correct 
when a patient is desperate for a miracle even if it means he has to be carried he must get there this is the approach we must give over our lives listen listen the concept of moving forward is not a mystery the concept of moving forward is having a sense of advancement in every area of your life are we together now yeah. you're not moving forward if you remain in sickness you're not moving forward if you remain in poverty you're not moving forward if you remain a victim of oppressions of darkness you're not moving forward if your life is not fulfilling the purposes of the kingdom as designated to you so I, I really came with a burden in my heart tonight not just to come and display power and throw people on the ground and you said I told you apostle no no that's not the issue you have a role to play your role is not to fall down that that is none of your business your role is not to fall on the ground your role is to number one believe God number two find out because some things don't require prayer some things require obedience are we together and some things don't just require obedience alone it requires aggressive prayer like the sister shared tuesday with an infection a devil appearing and playing with you see let me tell you something it takes a level of aggression to dislodge darkness out of your life whatever you tolerate is authorized to remain in your life hallelujah and the sister prayed fervently a prayer point was raised now there may be many other people who were sick there but a prayer point was raised and the sister said she prayed with all her heart found herself under the anointing and that was the end of the situation the same way somebody here may be desperate and say lord uh -uh, i have come i am before you i have attended many miracle services but i am ready just let me know what my role is i'm passionate about knowing what role i have to play in getting the word to be fulfilled in my life and i have found out that the key to progress is focusing on your role and being faithful god is too faithful to um play you know what they call um come see come sir you know you are here playing gimmicks like a scam god will not scam you have i not said you should be blessed have i not said this is a year of triumph have i not said you should rise like an edifice he says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes you shall die like mere men in spite of the prophecy upon your life in spite of the anointing present help me please present to heal the sick in spite of the anointing thank you very much present to um, cast out devils in spite of the grace available he says you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes the reason why many of us listening to me never receive from God is because we are casual about everything you probably were invited and you are here you're just happy you are looking for what to you know channel your focus and attention to and while the word is coming you don't see a need after all you don't have so much problems enough to cause you to want to really pray and participate but i want to challenge you tonight listen nothing will happen on its own are we together nothing will happen by itself not even the release and the flow of the power of god the act of god had the power and the potential to bring prosperity and healing and the presence of God but men had to carry that ark to the location where the power of God was needed to find expression the carrying of the ark was their own role the day they substituted their role with another formula it didn't work that's rendering the word of God of non effect are we together I came truly with a passion in my heart because I'm trusting not everybody may be sick not everybody may you know be delivered from oppressions of darkness but brothers and sisters as I always say you have to be tired of the level you are and cry and contend
end you must make progress we are human beings progress is measured by growth are we together when you see a baby after 10 years the baby is not growing you know that something is wrong are we together i think there's a medical condition like that where someone will be getting old but not show the physiological differences your life must show a difference spiritually financially career wise whatever it is and it depends on you it doesn't depend on god god is faithful god is faithful have i not said ye are gods have i not said you should be a greatly anointed man of god have i not said at this level of your life you should be walking in extreme levels of the anointing however in spite of the visions you saw in spite of the dreams you've had that word has not come to pass so tonight i want to lead you together as we cry to god and say lord thank you for what you have done but this area i i hold you by your word and i insist that something must be done in my life there are some of you your own role is to come for this meeting you have come that's your own role and so yours is to just sit back and enjoy how god makes nonsense of satan in your life you have paid the price there are people who have been here maybe days before this time just to prepare for the meeting fasting and praying alone and saying lord you have to visit me that's your role expectation because the bible says that an expectation shall not be cut short are we together the bible says they came to him to hear and to be healed to hear and to be healed you're sick in your body the first key is a listening ear because when the word of god comes the word of god is a messenger it is sent he sent forth his word like i'm speaking now it's not an ordinary word you are hearing there is a spirit behind it and that spirit is what begins to prepare you for healing if you sit down and you're watching i don't have a kidney i don't have this there's lump in my breast i have hiv i have cancer i have a and b and c now those things are true but do you not believe that god is able and in case you don't the word of god is here to help you are you seeing why it is important to hear you don't just get healed you hear when the apostle was preaching there was a man who was lame from birth and the bible says he was listening and then he perceived that the man had faith to be healed perceived that he had faith to be healed just like you are listening right now and your doubts are melting away as you are learning now that wow i have a role to play for some of you your role would be just to obey the instructions that come as we begin to minister they may be foolish instructions foolish instructions that's how the kingdom operates that's why you must become like a child once you bring big manism in the kingdom you will never receive results some instructions will be too stupid for your maturity to handle god can give an instruction a shout a jump sit down keep quiet they look stupid they will disorganize your sense of maturity and decorum but are you willing to be that childlike and receive your miracle it was stupid for the prophet to speak and say now man go and wash seven times in a dirty river imagine just um strolling around and then seeing someone like obasa joe with boxers in a river just bathing and they say why is it just yourself i know it's the stupid man that told me to do this now that's naman was a great captain and there he was there bathing two times the prophet said seven five times ah this embarrassment is too much the power was never released when his part was over the bible says he came out the seventh time listen six minus one can end you a lifetime of pain if god says seven six and a half is not seven god says bring your tithe you bring nine and a half you just brought a donation that's not a tithe correct yeah. obedience obedience as a symbol of your trust obedience for some of you 
it is a prophetic word that will come for some of you is divine direction divine direction whilst the meeting is going on all of a sudden an instruction will come from god i don't want us to waste our time tonight brothers and sisters and make it look as though uh, we just came to watch a nigerian movie where in a few minutes people will be flying left right and center and then we'll pray for the sick and then share the grace and you ask your visitor did you enjoy the movie and they say what a cinema called koinonia and you walk out and then your life is not changed i came here tonight to be changed i came sincerely to be changed hallelujah simple instructions write your prayer request we bring it before the lord there are people who have never never written anything to god or they just write on a clean sheet of paper god help me exclamation mark and drop it that is carelessness your lecturer will give you zero if you submit that kind of thing i'm just showing us how careless very careless many people are and we never receive anything from god if you've been healed come out to testify he said i'm ashamed though i will send a text later on now you do not know that every instruction is birthed by the spirit and it is for our good are we together jesus spat on the ground and said oh god bring your eyes and he put it there and said find your way to a pool called Siloam and wash crazy instruction sorry help me again the wind is pushing my piece of paper. Thank you. You will hear all kinds of instructions tonight. There is so much that I want. I'm trusting God that will do tonight. God has revealed so many things. And um, Pastor Jake sent me a text. And you know, I think a, a few days or so ago. Saying how that the Lord had revealed so many things for him about this meeting tonight. So this is a very special meeting. You are standing on holy ground. And I'm telling you, God is about to invade this place this night in a very dramatic way. Very dramatic way. Don't leave any stone unturned to seeing that you walk out of this place with a testimony. If it's an instruction, insist that it comes. If it's a miracle, insist that you receive it. Are we together now? Yeah. Have I not said, ye are gods? Have I not said, be fruitful? Have I not said, multiply? Have I not said, this and that? But that's not my reality. Now, you must have the meekness to admit that I have a role to play. Not God, where are you? That prayer is not very accurate. Sometimes it's just a, an expression of our humanity and God understands. But crying and saying, God, where are you? is not the issue. The issue is, Lord, I am here. Show me that which I need to see and do. Are we together now yeah habakkuk chapter 2 when you read from verse 1 it says i will set myself upon the tower i'll stand upon my watch set myself upon the tower that i will see what he will say to me so he's saying it bishop oedeko says faith is not just hearing what god is saying faith is seeing seeing what he's saying and doing what he's saying tonight the sick will be healed mike said something very powerful and prophetic while he was here taking the testimonies and he said god will address long standing issues do you believe that long standing issues long standing issues are issues that have refused to go like a bulldog holding on to your destiny everybody has ss or as in your family and you have prayed and prayed and the devil says you are joking i'm here oh, i'm here to stay but this night you can say satan uh -uh. <laughs> no your finances you can trust god for grace you've been trusting god for a job nothing is happening you have now joined all the faithless people roaming around saying there's no job in nigeria is how it is working you see that you have allowed life to twist and turn you away listen i'm challenging you tonight return back to your convictions i know that life has pushed you so much to a point where you believe that baby cannot come again i prayed for a dear woman yesterday um very big great woman and i was so touched almost cried 
when the woman told me that she had been barren for 25 years she got married in 1992 if it's a lady i think she's okay to marry at that time 25 is good enough 25 solid years trusting god someone may be here maybe you are 25 years and your issue came with you from birth you know you start counting from when you are born so technically it's more than because you start counting from when you are born but the whole issue can be there demonic are you willing to allow the devil take advantage of you or are you willing to say no 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 i i, I this thing called ss i know that you are there in my body and this and that but you have to live today this lack of favor i carry bad luck everywhere what is making i mean somebody promises to help you all of a sudden changes his mind as if he, as if a charm came on him no there are many of us who are walking under extreme levels of close heaven extreme you can look at a life and know not one area is working that's a call for concern nothing is working father alive mother alive six children graduate no job the only person employed is a driver that's not a good testimony brothers and sisters something is wrong for as long as you say that's how our people are this issue of our people you must throw it away and embrace the word of god from my village where we come from where what do you mean where you come from the bible says he that cometh from above is above all if you come from your village you will look like them if you come from above you must change your identity i come from above in my whole family everybody suffers lives from hand to mouth there are hard do you know that not many poor people there are people who they, their issue is not laziness they are walking under an extremely close heaven when you are walking under an extremely close heaven if you like become the managing director you will still go through a hard life hardship has nothing to do with money or lack of it it's a spirit that makes things laborious for people something that should take two weeks can take 10 years is god challenging us tonight i really want to challenge you there are people who never do anything well the first time they have to do it three or four times before it ever works who says it must be like that regardless of the assistance that is within their disposal it's a terrible spirit a woman gives birth to five or six children five of them are irresponsible people not knowing their left from their right and only the last born now is trying to even know god drinks once in a while and knows god here so he's not even balanced that's not a good life you can change it are we together that this sickness in my body listen i have been sick oh don't think i'm just talking nonsense i have been sick let me tell you i know what it means to be sick hopelessly sick you go to a hospital and at a point you know that this thing is trial and error there's no certainty i know what i'm saying you can walk in divine health it's a realm that is a reality not just divine healing divine health are we together you can walk in the favor of god you don't have to be a millionaire to be favored when god grants you access to helpers and people such that as your need comes there are people to shield you and that's favor that's favor money is not everything there are things i have seen people with money who are helpless in the face of certain things favor you can be a millionaire and not be favored the question is how it came you paid your life you paid everything you paid your faith in god for it you are you are a poor man and you are a failure let me tell you how you know your heavens are opened remember last week's message the degree to which men arise to help you brothers and sisters is a classic sign that god is with you it's not about saying i can do it 
when a man arises to help you makes it his responsibility to see your life move forward that's favor tonight i trust god that we will receive favor we need it you see how the climate is harsh in this country we need favor have i not said have i not said have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall die have i not said but you shall remain poor have i not said but you may remain sick have i not said but you may not move forward in your life but tonight you can make up your mind and say lord you have said it i believe it i act upon that truth and it must manifest it must manifest some of us are here as you're seated right now you are angry with other people angry with god angry with your father let me tell you something about the spirit of grief listen grief is a spirit and bitterness is a spirit i used to think there were very little issues but i have discovered that they play a major role in robbing us from receiving from god are we together If only my father got a good job by now he would have given me one of his houses see how i'm starting life from scratch and you are angry you may never move forward are we together see how my head of department annoyed me today and you rob yourself from receiving see how the bike man eh, wanted to take away my change i said there is many 10 naira he refused and because of 10 naira you miss a major miracle part of your preparation tonight will be to take away anything that can stand the way of the free flow of the power of god from hatred to bitterness to envy and all of these things that have that sustain the ability to rob you and destroy you and you open up your heart and say lord you have said it i'm ready to see it manifest in my life are we together it doesn't take so long I was so blessed by the testimony of our dear sister you know i met two people while i traveled i had prayed for them some time ago two of them over the issue of um, um barrenness there's been this uncommon grace that i have personally seen in this season for releasing supernatural fruitfulness especially in the area of children strange miracles very strange miracles there are probably people seated here that's all you pray for you can give away your job and give away anything god give me a child do you believe he can do it whether they say you have a womb or not that's just leave the doctor's report there's no doctor that knows everything in the human body even us we are still learning many things we are calling we are changing the names as we grow so there's no guarantee there is no guarantee that what the doctor said is final authority there are people who they've told them you have to live one week and after 10 20 years they are still standing are we together do you know that when you travel to the villages you see people who ordinarily if you diagnose them you just put a drip right immediately but they are the ones walking maybe it's the mechanic the only mechanic in the village fixing truck he will carry it by himself and put it and that person is sick every sign but simply because someone has not told him he believes he's healthy and he will live like that 97 he's still kicking are we together yeah you don't have any child you lose your teeth nobody feeds you so you better keep them your dentition must be complete at 97 you cannot walk you are in trouble nobody will help you and you see people 102 103 but the informations we have received have conditioned us to agree with certain things so they look at you and they say kai you look pale you just say yes i look pale you you know nothing is wrong with you but just because you read online and they say once you see a pimple here and here is a sign of ebola and exactly where they described is where you say no 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 i don't have ebola and after 10 minutes say, let me better go to the hospital they will now say you don't have ebola but you are sick lie down now we have doctors here doctors don't feel bad I'm, I'm on your side but i'm just saying look we need to edit a lot of stories we have received do you know 
if you were not told certain things you would have gotten more results in your life than now something you had discouraged you something someone told you out of sympathy and a sincere heart you were believing god and you know you just knew that look this thing will work and somebody told you he said look let me tell you something eh? you see me i'm 70 years old i started this your madness when i was 19 till now god has not responded i can't say he's not faithful oh, but <laughs> this is your gym gym you will soon rest and immediately your passion dies down the devil is a liar tonight every truth in the word of god is available for the believer die believing it die acting upon it and you will commit god's integrity you're not going to be careless over it and get a result brothers and sisters i would die believing the word of god if i if i die it's over you can talk well, you talk to a dead body but not when i'm alive i believe his word i believe i believe Lord I believe Lord I believe I believe I believe Lord I believe Lord I believe I believe in miracles I believe in signs and wonders I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. do you believe him do you believe him you are here seated do you believe that that devil can leave you there is a spirit that oppresses you you can't sleep i went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirit people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day i was free i knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can work like an octopus close almost 10 doors one spirit 10 doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight 
they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hop their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. How God is an awesome God. He reigns. He reigns. outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir 
you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15. we'll read from verse 5 verse 5 down to 8. listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the I've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the fine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and Jesus says I am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me he can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are born seven if ye abide in me uh-huh and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you read verse eight if you are a christian one two read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now herein is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces results so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an an, an, an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, uh, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah
herein is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual he said no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story look at the lady that god healed of hiv i know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as that breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i had and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir, to produce one song in Lagos is 250,000. He said, Okay, how many tracks do you have? 10. 
and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we are going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david Dam, you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take to a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap Where the grace of God comes upon your life. Divine acceleration. Triumph. Triumph. Shaka Pataya. Triumph. By the Spirit. There are ministries that need quantum leaps. If all you do is to invite members through posters. Let me tell you the truth. Get set for empty pews. Please help those under the anointing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they will not help you when you are in trouble you'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you 
and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing here only because you can listen brothers let me talk to you do you know right now please come when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked the sin it was over you made a way hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week 
God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sebara balaba. Zakata baroko to sopregeti. Shegete bereko sopra la balaba balaba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command accept yourself accept yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing
Alléluia. Alléluia. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Alléluia. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there God is a God of vengeance listen listen I know that's the nasty side of God but the God I serve is not only merciful God, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance he said let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry Lord avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family Koinonia pray Arise Sokotopakaya Righteousness and justice At the foundations of his throne Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against the wicked Oh God of vengeance Arise Oh God of vengeance Arise against evildoers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent. And he said they should go and hang him. He already built a gallow in advance. In advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again Lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family arise oh God of vengeance arise oh God of vengeance 
Arise, O God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes. Married a man that God had blessed. And then the man died. As soon as the man died, strangers came from left, right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this. They stripped that woman to the last of everything. Banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no you rejoice in my pain the god of vengeance will arise for you i tell you only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it he said rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet i will rise again how many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends they lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today They kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tithing these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root it says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life. The root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands. The root cause. Are you praying? hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never see god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first 
so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. 
thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person, one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visitors in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. Visitors, visitors. Doesn't mean other people are not being touched, but particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names. Whoever under the sound of my voice, inside and outside, if there is any spirit motivating 
the tragedies in your life as we shout that name Jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden God will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two three they must go from their hiding place they must depart from their hiding place they must depart from their hiding place at the sound of his voice I command every spirit I command every devil strange spirits tying down the destinies of men I command you right now there is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakatabakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay destiny. Delay achievement. that spirit I cost that spirit I cost that spirit bring the money out there's a mighty deliverance happening to her delay over your family broken 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 by the spirit hello Madonna hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is giving me a strange instruction please sisters lay your hands on your womb lay your hands on your stomach something remarkable is going to happen here right now there is a kind of deliverance God is doing I don't know what I'm even doing but Lord I pray right now this is not for everybody but I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you you'll be surprised every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now release them now Release them now! 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 
Johnson. Johnson. I'm hearing a name Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God, I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies. Serious deliverance to ladies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here in this place. Listen. You never rise beyond a certain level. It's not that you don't start. Please listen carefully. I'm speaking by the spirit. The moment is like there is a spiritual embargo. You get to that height. You must crash down wherever you are. I'm prophesying now and I'm praying for you. The power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cast that witchcraft. Now, I cast that witchcraft. Now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision. My God, hold on. I'm seeing deliverance for children. Like little children. The power of God is coming on small children in this place. I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. Some initiated into this. Let's just walk the way God is. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him there is hardship in your family and the Lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of Jesus I cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now I cause that spirit the spirit of hardship I cause you now I cause you now I cause you now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah 
please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom on common access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as a healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Hello, 
is now. Ushers, there is a prophecy for you. The Lord says I should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them, there will be a transference on every one usher. I'm prophesying now. That's why I say I don't know what we'll do. Ushers, ushers, receive that mantle. Receive that mantle. A strange healing grace coming on our ushers. Supernatural. Supernatural, the unction. Take it, take it where you are. Let that fire come upon you, upon ushers in a strange way. Upon ushers in a strange way. The grace for the miraculous. No longer will you just hold people, no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats. You release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you are a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman, one of our mothers, this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now, one of our mothers, one of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight. For the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. 
how many of you are trusting God I want to release that grace now and I want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head I'm saying this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not i command you to become it now i command you to become it now i release that grace i release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. Hey, hey, hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically 
I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now. Right now. I command you to run. Run in the spirit. Catch up. Catch up. Catch up. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. I release speed. I release speed. I release speed. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Speed to your life. Speed to your destiny. Words you speak, the things around your arms run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. You took away the chains and that held me back. Help me back. Hey, holy. Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and Pastor Jakes will be down outside there. Praise the Lord. Benga, you go with Pastor Jakes. You will help Pastor Jakes outside. Um, Pastor Alpha, you will be outside. Just help them. And then, um, who, who is around again? Is Femi around? Okay, so you can just come and help me here. So let's do it that way very fast. Very, very fast. If there are more people, there are still promise is here. Michael is here. So maybe you can add one. Okay. Promise, just follow. Promise, follow Pastor Jakes. Michael, follow hey, Jimmy. Please. Let's do it very, very fast. While, hold on, please. Don't be distracted. Don't cut the flow. We are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray. And then I'll speak over your life. Many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated. Don't be distracted. I expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. For those stationed at different points, whether at the back, any of the overflows, I'd like you to believe God for a miracle right now. Believe God for a miracle. You can see someone like our daddy. He has come with his crutch, believing God to walk. You believe you walk, sir? You believe the Lord will heal you. So get ready to walk. You see, there are people stationed around. 
we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir station here yeah. you cannot walk I can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs I, has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no I can't I can't hold on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus I believe. you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg lift it lift your leg lift your leg Start, try to walk gently. Come, come, try to walk gently. Come, give me the stick. Look at me, look at your stick. Come, come. come. Don't be afraid. Come, lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. the chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um trusting okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here someone is still sick here i'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me someone is still sick here no 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 i'll pray for you but i'm saying i feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down choir someone is sick come let me pray for you you came out lift your hands jesus someone is still sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. 
and the Lord is bringing a miracle right now right now elder brother supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit you are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange hallelujah god god is giving two of them strange favor strange favor i see strange favor strange favor america god is giving you access i'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and god is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, god is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year why make it next year when i have destined it to be this year this is the word of the lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when i've destined it to be this year as i speak to you the word is for you the power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined you to be this year. It's a year of triumph. It's a year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. Shaka parado hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ 
I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a, listen, there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations, God, see, let me tell you, right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that it's the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you, just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if they are not if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone Please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata bakata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracle so God. Testimony so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The spirit of God is moving over the prayer request visiting families releasing angels releasing angels visiting the request i'm seeing the cloud of god's presence visiting the prayer request savior he can move a mountain my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever, all for a salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily 
in the name of Jesus it has been decreed it has been ratified and it is done in the name of Jesus Lord we say thank you Lord we say thank you we say thank you exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask above all that we imagine is done in the name of Jesus we give you praise father we thank you we thank you we thank you in Jesus name we have decreed come on give Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please said you may still come pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension to prophesy a new level and in the name of Jesus I speak it step into a new dimension a Jimmy God is saying I should release grace for access I command that grace strange access strange access by the power of the Holy Ghost strange access gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and pastor Jake's God is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence Lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are I bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are I prophesy to Tosin wherever she is and I speak to hope you are one so I prophesy as it happens to you I bring your wives into this experience in the name of Jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka dodo barekete zat kaskapas katapas katapas legete to soto pretekes kobaria a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be opened. 
be open right now be open right now in the name of jesus christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with a uh, yellow blue you come i don't know you but the lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings i lay my hands and i remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of jesus christ i command uh -uh. i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you jesus please visit them strange visitations in the name of jesus christ strange visitations lift your hands please hallelujah hallelujah ah i just saw a door open and i saw a name come out listen i saw a name come out and i saw the okalo family the okalo family this is okalo family okalo family okalo family okalo family god is visiting your people. all three of you step into that grace i open that door now the okalo family step into that grace Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down whatever has covered your glory i speak it right now in the name of jesus let it be open 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 i unveil your glory 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 Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. Ah. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now, touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway miracles locate them now oh god people from benway benway strange grace strange grace i break witchcraft benway i'm seeing benway hallelujah hallelujah i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right i'm seeing i know or to go but i'm seeing the o a a at the, is there a place like that or to bar or something the power of god i'm seeing that going to that area the lord is bringing a miracle ends with an a whoever comes from that region in the name of jesus breakthrough 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 strange breakthrough strange breakthrough benway 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now. Strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state miracles, miracles, breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles, miracles to emo state by the spirit of the living God.
Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the Minister of Signs and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening... You don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. Now, now, that fair lady, come. This lady, time, run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor, like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside a cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside a cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me. I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi to Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. Yeah. I'm not a prophet yeah. of doom, but it will happen. Yeah. He will reach three days. Yeah. Huh? Throw yeah. completely so that you can move forward. Yeah. I hold your hands. In the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus. Christ. you need to love jesus with all your heart right you are a nice person but your relationship with jesus you you can get teachings after this but i want to prophesy on your life god is taking somebody not there though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life i prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here. Whether your nuclear family, your extended family. Hold on. I don't know what has gone wrong. But in the name of Jesus. Within now and miracle service match. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. In the name of Jesus. One of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are. But one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny 
I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray May God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace. Fresh fire. Outside, receive it. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh grace. Hallelujah. Wherever your prosperity is, I pray. May, listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around a the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. You're going to begin to experience the glory of God in a very very remarkable and unique dimension this is what the lord is asking me to tell you the lord is saying a season is changing for you changing for you and you are going to begin to carry levels of the power of the holy spirit there are things you could not do before but that in this conference you are accessing grace grace is coming to you from heaven this word is for a lady i'm seeing of course when god speaks to one he speaks to all in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the Living God. Man can carry God. Man can carry God. Man can carry God. Man can carry God. Madam, the woman wearing green, please stand up. Lift your hands. I caught that spirit right now. Out of her now. 
in the name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of the living God that everything that oppresses you and will not let you and your family go free, I declare right now, be delivered, be free now, and be free forever. Let the power of the Holy Spirit come upon you, and in the name of Jesus, let oppression come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men can carry God. I really believe that one of the things that God is doing in this conference is just activating. I, I sense that this church has been through a season of hunger and preparation. You can see that there, is, there are hearts that are already very, very open and prepared. I assure you one thing, your pastor did not speak over you for nothing. It was a word from the Lord. It was a word from the Lord. It was a word from the Lord. This gentleman wearing red with your hand on your face. Stand up, my friend. The Lord is saying, as you announce to you, you are stepping into a new season of grace. I don't know him, but in the name of Jesus Christ, such power, the Lord himself is shifting you into a new season. It will not be like before, the Lord is saying. I am bringing you into a new season. Into a new season. Am I wasting your time tonight? To a new season. There is a gentleman and a lady. This is a choir. These people standing. A gentleman and a lady. The Lord is bringing restoration to your family. I just saw light and the Lord is speaking to me. He's bringing restoration. I decree and declare. Whatever it has has been with your family the lord sent me here by the spirit of the living god and i stretch my hands towards you i declare restoration for you and for your family two of you the power of god is coming upon you and this will be the beginning of a new season a gentleman and a lady a gentleman and a lady this is what god is showing me i decree and declare let there be restoration for you by the power of the holy spirit can you pray in the spirit in one minute everywhere outside inside just pray whether you are seated just pray shaneke parokas koto brahas kade balakata shi de brende gede bakatos kade brende gede balakata he la pakata brende gede balakatos yadaba Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please sit down. We'll continue our teaching. I just saw light coming on a man. You are a pastor. I don't know where that man is, but I just saw light coming on him. Please let me just... Is, it's not good to disobey the Holy Spirit in a meeting like this. Kalis Kadibra. Just be sensitive. I tell you, there is such glory. This is, listen, one of the things that you'll be learning in this conference is that men can carry their climate everywhere. You can, you can stay with God and carry your spiritual climate. May God use you, my dear, this lady. The one putting her hand, yes, this one looking at me, stand up. Not you, the one at your back. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God use you in a way that you have never experienced. May my God use you in a way that you have never experienced. May God use you. There is a pastor. I will continue, but I'm seeing there is a pastor. I'm seeing an impartation. You came here, there is, um, you know, just that strong impartation. People have come here with hunger, genuine hunger, genuine hunger of the Spirit. The power of God is coming on that man. I don't know where you are, you are a man of God, but such glory. Your ministry is about to shift. In the name of Jesus, it's going to be a new season for your ministry. You will see signs and wonders in a way that you will marvel and wonder. Is he a pastor, this man? Is that man a pastor in this church? Where are you coming from, sir? 
I don't have a church, but I worship here. Okay, you worship here, but you're a pastor. You believe in the healing anointing? Look at me, sir. Lift your hands. Even as God has revealed to me, I pray for you. Look at me. May that grace come upon you. Take that fire. Right now, I stretch my hands. That glory is coming upon you. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. Take that fire. Let it shift you to a new level. And from you, just when you are, where you are standing, the road down, straight, there is the power of God is coming on someone. On this same road. Just right down. In the name of Jesus. This is what I saw in my vision. Where this man is standing, the road, right down. The power of God is coming on someone. I don't know why God does these things. Mine is just to obey. But sir, you will never be the same. I assure you, you are drinking of a very, very, very ancient oil. Just this road, down. The power of God is touching someone. From where this man is, you can look at the road down. In the name of Jesus, may you never be the same. That oil from heaven is coming upon you and is shifting you. Shifting you supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone at the back, I'm seeing that grace for prophecy. The grace for the prophetic is coming on someone. Right now, at the back, very marvelous grace. God has been using you in a way. But even you, you have not really seen that it's a call. But tonight, God is confirming to you that it's a call. It's a marvelous call. All your dealings in the secret place, your times of prayer, your times of fasting with the Spirit. God is confirming to you that this is a call by the Spirit. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome God. My food to be moved. Carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Awesome man, awesome God. Please sit down. Please sit down. So we have established the fact that God seeks for that union. He seeks to tabernacle with man. All through scripture, we see his, his intention made known to man that he does not just desire to visit man. He desires to tabernacle with man. But you see, God is a God of systems and is a God of principles. So in as much as he's a God of love, he has exalted his word even above his name. That means he's constrained by the principles of his word. That is the reason why as powerful as God is, he did not cast sin out of man. He had to go through the protocol that allows for the remission of sin. And the law is that without the shedding of blood, he did not just look at man and say, man, I am God, I created you. Sin, go out of man like you cast a demon. He had to submit himself. It took 33 and a half years in the flesh for man's sin to come out of him. Based on due process. From his arrival to the earth, to his ascension, to offer his blood upon that tabernacle in heaven. 33 and a half years thereabout for this deal, this issue of sin to be done with a man. So God is a God of principles. He will not violate his principles. And I want to share with you just for tonight very briefly just one key that can help a man to host very superior dimensions of God and will pray. I call it the desire of David. Second Chronicles, please, chapter six. Second Chronicles, chapter six. 
A verse of emphasis will be verse 7. Second Chronicles chapter 6. Please give it to us so that we we'll hurry up. Now, this is Solomon. In fact, let's start from verse 1. This is Solomon about to dedicate the temple in Jerusalem. I'll back up a bit and give you a little context. Then said Solomon, the Lord had said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. We're reading down to verse 7. But I have built an house of habitation for thee and a place for thy dwelling. How long? Forever. The key word, I have built. I have built. It did not just appear. I have built a house of habitation for thee. My intention is that it will be a place for your presence to dwell forever. Next verse. The king turned his face and blessed the whole congregation of Israel. And all the congregation of Israel stood. Verse 4. He said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who hath with his hands fulfilled that which he spake unto his mouth to my father David, saying, Since the day that I brought forth my people out of the land of Egypt, I chose no city among the tribes of Israel to build that house in, that my name might be there forever. Neither chose I any man to be a ruler over my people Israel. Verse 6. But I have chosen Jerusalem, that my name might be there, and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. Verse 7. Now, it was in the heart of David, my father, to build a house for the name of the Lord God of Israel. And the Bible says that in doing so, it was a good thing. Are we together? Now, let's go and see what happened with David. This is Solomon the son. Having built the temple, he's dedicating it now to the Lord. And he makes reference to the motivation that led to that construction. Are we together? Let's go to Second, Second Samuel 7. Second Samuel 7. Let's start from verse 1. The first instruction is from verse 1. It came to pass when the king sat in his house. Who is the king? King David. And the Lord had given him rest round about from all his enemies. Now, please look up. Why does the Bible go all the way to tell you the state of this man? It tells you that at the time this man began to think about God. He was not thinking about God because he had problems. God, keep, please keep verse 1 for us. God had given him rest round about. And yet that was the time he remembered God. When God gave his son rest round about, he forgot God. Until he regretted and documented his regret in Ecclesiastes. Are we together now? God gave David rest round about. Had no battles. Had no need. And yet David said it was never about the battles. It was never about the victory. It was never about rest. It was about my desire for you. Because if it was about battles, I have used you to triumph. If it was about prosperity, neighboring kings have brought their their, their bounty and their gold and everything. I am comfortable. I may not need you again. And David said, even though you have given me rest round about, you still remain my obsession. Next verse. Verse 2. Be patient with the reading. We'll continue now. The king said unto Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwelleth within curtains. What, what a desire. He's saying, look, as I'm sitting down right now, I'm not thinking about my throne. I'm not thinking about succession. Why would I sit down in this beautiful palace and I know that the ark of God, the same ark that brought me victory, the ark that was a representation of the presence of God, is still kept somewhere with curtains. Verse 3. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in thy heart. For the Lord is with you. 
there is something in your heart, even as a successful man, you are concerned about the fact that uh, that desire and that longing in your heart, the longing that was there whilst you were a shepherd, even in the midst of all the achievements now, what else do you need? You are king. Enemies have been defeated. Your kingdom is experiencing peace. But David said, I still have a desire. There is a desire in my heart. My desire was never fame. My desire was never just to use God and find rest. I have found the rest. And yet, Lord, you had rest in heaven too, round about. And yet your heart was on me. Now you have given me rest. My heart is still on you. Desire. Pay attention. Next verse. Are we still following? Verse 4. It came to pass that night that the word of the Lord came to Nathan saying, Go and tell my servant David, thus saith the Lord, Shall thou build a house for me to dwell in? That means God was watching from heaven the contemplation of a man's heart. And he was saying, God, I can't sleep. I'm a king. I have everything. But I need to be able to build you a place even in my lifetime. And God was revealing to a prophet and saying, look, the desire of a man who loves me. Verse 6. Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. Next verse. Be patient. In all the places wherein I have walked with all the children of Israel. Right? It says, with any of the tribes of Israel, whom I have commanded, feed my people Israel, saying, Why build ye not me an house of cedar? Verse 8. Now therefore... So shall thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from a sheep coat. God is giving him the history. From following the sheep to be ruler over my people, over Israel. I was with thee, whithersoever thou wentest. We'll deal with this during our final session. And have cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight. And have made thee a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. I will plant them, and that they may dwell in a place of their own, and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more as before time. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel, and have caused thee to rest from all thy enemies. Also, the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee a house. We're reading to 18. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Look what is happening to him. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. Uh -huh. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul. I will put away before thee, whom I will put away, whom I put away before thee. And thy house and thy kingdom, listen carefully, shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. According to all these words and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. The last verse. Then went King David in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house that thou hast brought me thus far? Look up, please. David dwelt in peace, free from war, free from lack, and yet David had a desire. The desire was that God would find a resting place, that God would find a place to tabernacle in. And even when God told him, David, I've seen your desire, 
but you have shed too much blood. I may not allow you to be the one to build. He was not offended. He said, no problem. I will get the raw materials and keep. Let it be that someone who came out of me still builds that house for God. Can I tell you this? The number one factor that controls the manifestation of the hand and the presence of God to come and tabernacle with a man as a covenant is the heart factor. The heart condition of a man. Please pay attention. The heart condition of a man, according to scripture and in my experience, is the greatest determinant of the presence, the power, the grace of God. You've heard me say it again and again. We have thought that the secret to power, the secret to the glory of God, is just prayer and fasting, and that is wonderful. If your heart has been worked on, every other thing in this kingdom finds its place when your heart condition is right. Can I tell you this? No matter the spiritual activity you are involved with, if this heart factor if your desire has not been screened and edited, you may never hold certain dimensions of God's presence and power. Herein lies the frustration of many people who are actively engaging in spiritual activities, but wonder why in spite of everything that I do, I don't seem to be able to carry the level of glory that I desire. Can I tell you this? You don't know if you truly love God when you have needs. You know if you truly love God when your needs are met. That's why the Bible put that scripture there. David had found rest. Do you know what happens to a human when he finds rest? I understand you need God because you need to build. I understand your children are still in school and you need school fees. But there is something about the state of a man's heart when he has no need again. David, tonight our assignment is to obtain grace from God. That impartation of the desire of David, it must come upon your heart that you can look at wealth and riches. You have risen to the highest level in your profession and yet you can come before him and say there is still a desire, oh God. The same desire that was in my heart before I started is the same desire in my heart now. Please do not assume you understand what I'm saying. As simple as this is, if it is the God of heaven you want to walk with, you want to carry power and grace and presence, trusted with influence over nations and territories, beyond fasting, beyond praying, beyond spiritual activities, the heart of man, the greatest factor that invites God to tabernacle with man is his heart. Search me through and through till my heart becomes a home for you. Listen, the desire of David is one that has inspired me and changed my life. Why would a king who had found rest round about sit down and his contempt if I were David my contemplation would not be God oh. may God forgive me but who knows do you know what it means to find rest round about you have estates you have houses all over the world you have accolades to your name you have children who are obedient succession is in place what do I need you for again David said, I have a desire. Prophet Nathan, you are a prophet. Help me tell God I will not rest till I find a place for him in my lifetime. Lord, I will not rest till everything you have given me praise you. Till everything you have given me reveals Jesus. Do you know every time God sees men who are ready to give all to prove him how much they love him, they attract his attention immediately. Now you will understand John 14, 21. Please give it to us. John chapter 14 and verse 21. John chapter 14 and verse 21. 
if you can see it and it's projected, can you read for me? Ready? Read, please. Let's, let's do 23. Let's do 23. One to read. Uh huh. Love, love, love. If a man loves me and keeps my word, my father will love him and we will come. We will come and make our abode in his ministry, in his family in his life, in his destiny. You will become a walking, living ark, carrying the presence of God everywhere you go. Then your life becomes a sign, your life becomes a wonder, first to you, and then to everyone who cares to see. Can I tell you this? The secret behind the exploits of men, the secret behind the seeming greatness you see, is that covenant God has found hearts that in life and in death only live to glorify Him. You may have heard my story. Many years ago, the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Are we together? The heart condition. In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 26, it has become an anthem in my life. A formula to host God. Number one, my son. Proverbs 23, 26. It says, my son. What is he asking you to give him? Not your offering. Not your singing. Uh -uh. Leave that one first. Not your prophetic acumen. Not your ministry. You can give God every other thing. But if your heart is not part of it, you've not given Him anything. The tray that carries every other gift you carry is your heart. Imagine that you want to give a president something or a governor or something. And maybe water, and you just pick it and throw it at him. That's not a gift. The tray that carries everything and makes everything you present before God honorable is your heart. Are we together now? We're going to pray. Mark 14. A very instructive story. Mark chapter 14. We'll start our reading from verse 1, please. The Bible says, after two days was the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread. And then all of this happened. The, the chief priests, they sought to put him to death. Verse 2. Mark chapter 14. Okay, next verse. I hope, that's, I, hope I got that right. Yes. Verse 3. Watch this. The Bible says, and being in Bethany. Please look up. In the house of Simon the leper, he sat to eat, and a woman came. The Bible says that she had an alabaster box. Everybody please look up. An alabaster box of ointment, of spikenard. Then the Bible says it was very precious, and the Bible says she broke the box. Another synoptic account will tell you it was worth one year's wages. A salary of one year broke the box and poured it on his head. And to the point that some had an indignation within themselves and they said, Why was this a waste? That means every time you see this desire, you will be tempted to think it's a waste of time, a waste of life. They called an expression of hunger and desire a waste. What is this God thing that you are acting as if you didn't go to school? What is this God thing you are acting as if you are a failure? You already have results. Man of God, God has established you in ministry. What is this passion and rolling on the ground before God again? 
remember the joy that was in the heart of david when the ark was being restored he was dancing and dancing and saul's daughter looked at him and said shame on you there are ethics to royalty you are violating the ethics of royalty he said i am dancing before god who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me god had her and she died barren i have preached this message for as long as i can remember yet surprisingly people listen but they never truly get it that the real secret to power with god to grace from on high more than spiritual activities is when a man gets to a point where you have the desire of david there is a reason why god made the covenants that he made with david the heart factor vetting your heart to find out do you still have a desire to see him lifted to see him glorified to see him revealed do you have a desire for his presence most people want power most people want miracles most people want fame hello don't don't feel insulted most people i keep saying it again and again most people imagine with me please um one of this protocol please come come sir let me use you look at this fine gentleman standing here imagine with me for a moment that this man comes to me he's been calling me from morning till evening apostle i want to see you and i tell him i'm busy and he says please i have to see you it's a matter of life and death and then as soon as he comes to me he's not looking at me all he wants is my shoe all that call for my shoe i want to snap your shoe so i look for the kind i want to snap your watch and i'm standing in shock wondering you did not sleep all through the night calling me now that you have my attention what are you looking at i say look at me and he says no no it's not about your face i was just calling you because i was told that there is a material that you wear that is beautiful Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many struggles. For by your spirit and your grace, I'm confident you know box she broke it i can waste it if it is before you and he looked at her heart and said everywhere the gospel is preached even though this woman was not ordained into ministry you cannot ignore her because she has communicated her love can i tell you something i know about god there are certain dimensions in god that only genuine lovers those whose hearts have been poured sincerely to love him 
not for things. I know we are humans. We need things to be. Some of you here are sick. Some of you came expecting increases of all sorts. But can I tell you sincerely, there are no gimmicks with God. If he cannot find himself in your heart, your heart must reflect his face back to him as a mirror. Otherwise, he does not trust what is there. Don't say I love the Lord. Simon Bajona, lovest thou me more than these? Do you love me more than ministry? Do you love me more than titles? Do you love me more than power? More than signs and wonders? If I tell you to quit ministry now, will you still love me? If I tell you you may never drive a car in your life again, will you still love me? Or is the rolling just because you had a dream and you saw a car? There's nothing wrong with it. But you see, the prayer that God purifies your motive is a real prayer. A genuine prayer. We have a generation of people who love God today and in a heartbeat when God gives them rest roundabout. Why should I come to church again? I've gotten what I'm looking for. Why should I come to church again? I'm now a politician. I'm busy traveling around. I'm now a leader. I'm too busy. I, I will follow online one day. And God says, I knew it. See, God reminded David and said, let me let you know that I've not forgotten while you were a shepherd boy. Now you are king. I have seen the consistency of your desire. Every other thing changed except your desire. Listen. If you want God to bless you, change every other thing except that desire. Change cars, that's all right. Change buildings, that's all right. Change clothes, that's all right. Change approach to ministry, that's all right. But never allow that desire to die. The same desire as a shepherd boy. The same desire as a king. i like to see your glory revealed. Can I tell you this? If I have any fear in my life at all, it's not losing ministry. If I have any fear in my life, it's not losing power. If I have any fear in my life, it's not losing my name or what you call reputation. If I have any fear in my life, it's not untimely death. If I have any fear in my life, it's to get to a point where that presence, where my heart condition, my heart now exalts something above God. You can exalt prayer and fasting above God. You can exalt Bible study above God. The Bible talks about God, but God is a person. You can even exalt heaven above God. You can exalt breakthrough above God. My son, give me You want to host God? This is a secret. Most of my encounters, I tell you, they did not come because of any effort per se on my own part. There is one thing I can tell you. I sincerely and truly love the Lord. And I desire for his name to be lifted and his glory to be revealed. If ever I pray for power is not to make a name. It's so that God can give me the privilege and the opportunity to be an extension of him to people. Everything starts and ends with him. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love you, Jesus. Listen. If I can get you to a point this night where you are willing to lay down all of the things that make you look like you love God, but in truth, 
there is an agenda that is locked up. Lord, I am tired of delay. There are yokes in our family. So they say, if I fast, I get your power. Oh yeah, let me fast. There's nothing wrong with that in itself. But if that is what leads you, he will tell you, okay, take, this is what you want. And most people will walk away from him. When David had found rest round about, he still had a desire. Lord, I cannot be sitting here and not build you a house. I know that you are God. You sit in heaven. The earth is your footstool. Yet, give me the privilege of bringing you close to find a place in my life. That in life and in death, you make up your mind that this thing is not just about church. This is not just about Christianity. I genuinely love you. And no matter what you give me, no matter where I go, my ultimate desire will be to see your glory revealed, to see your power revealed in me, and then through me to my world. If that becomes your desire, you have passed the first test that can truly grant a man access to host God. Very superior dimensions of God. Otherwise, we will just wrap up a conference. You will receive miracles. You will receive many things. And recycle your frustration back to another one year. Seeking for something that only the size of God can feel. God put a realm called eternity in the hearts of man. And only his size can feel it. A car cannot feel it. Degrees cannot feel it. That is the reason why people become successful and still commit suicide and kill themselves. Nothing wrong with success. Ladies and gentlemen, you have not seen success till God has your heart. You will lay up gold as dust. You will not even know what to do with it. God will take the prayer request of many and give you as a gift. I made up my mind. It was a vow and a covenant with God. I said, Lord, if there is anything, whether ministry, power, if it has the ability to make me lose that presence, if it has the ability, I rather, I rather not be known in my lifetime. And yet my love and my passion for him, my desire to see him revealed, remains unchanged. Heaven, for me, is Him being with me. Heaven is not when I fly through the skies. No, if He's not there, I don't want. If He changes His location to hell, then may I never go to heaven again. It is not about the location. It's about the person. It's not about the throne. It's Him who sits on the throne. If the throne is empty, what should I do there? I have no business with the throne. You have to understand this. If he's not in the church, may I never have anything to do with church. If he's not in ministry, may I have any, not, never not have anything to do with ministry. If he's not in my prosperity, may I have nothing to do with it. He becomes the epicenter of my pursuit that I desire him more than life. And he says, this is for me. Let's go to the next level. Can I be sincere with you? I apologize if I sound harsh. But many of us, I can tell you the reason why you are unable. It's not because the devil is so powerful. It's because there is, there is a corruption in the sincerity of our heart. This heart thing. You can fast for 40 days and from day one, the heart is already corrupted. You will enjoy the mercy of God. But I tell you, if it is heaven you want to host. You've heard me say it in my teachings. Till today, when I go before God, Sir, I don't go before him as Apostle Joshua Selman. Nonsense! Apostle Joshua Selman? It's men that call me Apostle. Lord, Lord your boy is still here. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond the earth. 
Part of the song I love. I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. I'm the one that you have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me want to host God, you must love Him. You must desire to see Him glorified. Not self. Not ambition. Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love. Oh, oh, we just tell them to love you. Can I tell you sincerely? Please listen to me. I know some of you are crying. It's a very simple message tonight. I have had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few extremely great people, believers, whether in business, in government, in ministry. And most times when I sit down with them, sincerely by God there is nothing in itself that is exceptional you will look for the wow factor and not find it all your eyes will see is the, the plethora of limitations yet the results remain undeniable the key is that when God comes please anyone come when your heart becomes genuinely right with God and he comes to hold you and say, let's go. Your life becomes a wonder. Please listen to me. You will be seeing a mountain and come close and not see it again. Because there is a hand that picks that mountain. And men cannot see the hand. So they think it's your hand that lifted it. When God decides to come and stay, Moses understood this. He said, do not let us depart from here. If your presence, we still have our weapons of war. Don't let us depart from here. We'll only embarrass ourselves. How will they know that we are different? He said, my presence will go with you. Not my presence will visit you. Moses knew it. My presence will go with you. And I, by that presence, David said, cast me not away from your presence. Cast me out of the throne, I agree. But cast me not away from your presence. It says, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Can I tell you this? Please look at me. If you lose money and you still have him, you did not lose if you lose ministry and you still have him sincerely 
you did not lose. But no matter what else you have, if he's not there, you lost, though. You lost. It's only a matter of time you will know that his presence is what controls everything. I have come tonight to help you understand the spiritual protocol that governs hosting God. And one of it tonight is this heart condition that I call the desire of David. I desire you more than things. I desire you more than rest. I desire you more than money. Can I be sincere with you? This is the grace and one of the mysteries that has kept your precious pastor, the man of God, 20 years with all that has happened. I sat back there and while I was watching, I said, this is my message. When you see results that humans cannot produce, you know that God was involved in it. And I am telling you that you don't, you don't, it's not a parliament that calls him to come. You don't vote him to come. Your heart condition is the magnet that draws his presence to you. There are magnets that are weak. They may not be able to draw much. But there are magnets that are powerful. They can lift cars. You can use them and lift cars. Your heart is that magnet. When you love the Lord, you can sit down and an anointing will leave a conference somewhere and come and meet you in your room. While you are there saying, Lord, I may not have all it takes to serve your purposes, but if for any reason you can find a vessel in me, I am available. And that anointing will leave a conference and come and meet you in your room. Some of you are crying because God has been showing you this message in dreams. You have not been understanding it. God is saying, it's not that I cannot lift you. It's not that I cannot open a door for you. But your heart condition. Many times I restrict my blessings to preserve you. Because as it is, if you find rest in this condition, you may not even be a Christian again. Have you not seen people who were workers in church and God just lifted them, they went abroad and they came back like demons? House on the Rock, Enugu, one more time, the Lord is speaking to you. Don't just lift your hands, lift your heart. Lift your heart. That you can give him your heart and say, Lord, from today, you are my obsession. Blessing or no blessing. Lifting or no lifting. I will teach my children your ways. Even when I sit on the throne, I will never forget you. You have become my obsession. As simple and childlike as this is. And he comes to you in power. And will invest levels of his presence upon your life. That you will be surprised. You will watch doors open. Brothers and sisters, you will see God do things in your life. That you will marvel and wonder. People will look at you and they cannot add up where the result is coming from. But then it never stops happening. Because there is divine presence. You have captured levels and dimensions of God. Please don't miss tomorrow's sessions. When I found this secret, I said I will never let it go. My heart. My heart. My heart. More than my prayer, more than my preaching, my heart, my heart, my heart. Lord, I love you more than anything. I love you more than ministry. I'm not serving and loving you and desiring to see your kingdom come just because I'm succeeding in ministry. Even if I were failing, my passion would not, be, would not change. Change everything in your life, but leave that desire. Leave it there. Leave it there. Don't replace it with things. Don't replace it with titles. Don't let age fade the desire away. Are we blessed? Behold.
behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. If you are interested, I stand at the door of your heart. That's the part I'm interested in. I'm knocking. What is he doing at the door of your heart? If you choose, you can open the door and let me find space. But if you think your heart is full and you are too busy, I am patient, I can let you be. But you can open that door and I can come in and you shut that door and I will eat with you. He was talking to John. John the Revelator was archiving what he was telling the seven churches. Behold! He was not talking to seven unbelievers. He was talking to seven churches. I am still looking for your heart. It's not new birth. This is not giving your life to Jesus. He's talking about a deeper and a richer experience. Apostle, but I've been born again. That's not what I'm talking about. He's still standing at the door. We're going to spend 10 minutes praying. Please don't be distracted. And the prayer is a prayer of surrender. Lord, impart upon me the desire of David. The desire of David. The desire of David. The desire of David. According to Psalm 27. Please give us Psalm 27 and verse 4. As we pray. All the overflows outside following online. We are about to pray. One thing have I desired. You have desired many things, but leave all those desires. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, and to behold you all the days of your life. Are you ready to pray? Please lift your voice, cry to the Lord. This is you and Jesus for the next five, ten minutes. You and Jesus, your maker, the one whose presence you want to see manifest in your life. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. House on the rock, Enugu. Enugu say, Pray for the desire of David. One thing have I desired. Are you praying? Please pray. Don't be tired. Take it serious. Oh, I desire you. I desire you. I desire you. The fullness of your presence and your glory in my life. Someone is praying. Nothing can take your place in my life. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Dethrone every idol. Idols of achievement. Idols of vain desires. Hallelujah. Please look at me. There are people today who threaten pastors and men of God and tell them, if God does not answer my prayer, I will stop being a worker in this church. If God does not answer my prayer, I've given God, I've been a worker for one year. Can I tell you the truth? Do not make the mistake of the workers in the parable that Jesus gave. 
The Bible talks about a parable of the owner of a vine and the workers. I just felt in my spirit to say this. There are many people whose Christianity is conditional. While it is true that there is a covenant of service, that when you serve the Lord, He will bless. But can I tell you this? You must love Him more than that. I've been sweeping the house of God and nothing is changing. I'm going. And God says, that was it? Was that the motivation? Hallelujah. When your passion, your love, your drive, nothing can take that place. When you are alone with God, you remind yourself again, He's the object of my obsession. Lord, you have helped me, you have shown me mercy. But regardless what happens to me, good or bad, one thing for sure is I may change every other thing, but not you, not my love, not my passion. I will die loving you, die serving you, die living for you. All these things, we are more than conquerors on account of that love and that passion, that desire. Please purify your desire. Purify your motives. Why do you seek him? They sought him because they were hungry. As soon as he fed them with 5,000, with, with five loaves and two fish, all of them threw the excesses and went away. And he said, go and gather the crumbs. Twelve baskets. They wasted it. We've used you and we've dumped you. We're on our way going. And he looked at the disciples. He said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? We didn't just come for, we, who, whom shall we go? You alone have the word of life. And he turned them eventually to apostles of the Lamb. And some, even when they ran away, they came back repenting with brokenness. Peter said, depart from me. I am a sinner. Simon Barjona, he said, John 21, lovest thou more than me more than this? He said, yes. Feed my lamb. Then feed my sheep. Then feed my sheep. If you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Can I tell you sincerely, I stand before the God of heaven. There is nothing in my life today that I cannot surrender. To prove my love for Jesus, my passion for him. I love him more than that. And my assignment tonight is to impart upon you that desire of David. I don't know how God did it in my life, oh, but it's my prayer that what he did to me, let it happen for someone in this place this night. In the name of Jesus, that no amount of money, no amount of lifting will ever make God look like a nuisance in your life. That you will not just carry him like an extra luggage. That divine presence, you will love the presence of Jesus more than power, more than ministry. If that happens to you, then you will also get the blessing of David. Don't claim the blessing of David. The blessing of David is dominion. To find someone to establish his kingdom. Today when you look at Israel, the symbol of their flag is the star of David. Not the star of Abraham. No, the star of David. The star of David. Listen to me. It was on the strength of this that I started having encounters. It was not just fasting and prayer. Many of the encounters I've had today that have changed my life, it was God coming to me. And it has not ended coming to me. My son, let me open this to you. You can open this Bible and search and there are things you will never see until God comes to you. He brings them. There are things that are not studied. You are, he comes and brings you into that body of truth. 
You know, it's easy for men of God to want to take pride in things like this, to make it look as though it's our doing. It's not true. There are some things that only God, God comes to pick you. Signs and wonders. This grace for signs and wonders that you see. Brothers and sisters, it did not, I don't think I would have had the strength and the stamina to go through it and get it that way. With the sincerity of my heart, loving Jesus. And here he comes again. He promised that if you love him and you mean business with him, you will find him. You can find God and you can host him. And a generation can know that you carry him. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. That every lukewarmness, please just help those under the anointing. And everything that has stolen His love, stolen your passion. Some of you, when you started with God, you were not like this. But right now, you have thrown everything that is God in your life. Just the routine of church. Sunday, in and out. But your heart is no longer with Him. He's speaking to you seriously. There is need for that restoration. Because in this end time, there are mighty things and marvelous things that God is doing. In men and through men to the nations. But he meets people who love him sincerely. Please look at me. I just sense in my heart to use this opportunity and make an altar call. Can I do that? I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now before I pray. Within this auditorium and all the overflows, there are people whilst you were hearing me speak, the Holy Ghost began to speak to you. And say it is time to make things right with Jesus. Now I, I can't force you. You are the one. You can sit down and share the grace and go back. But this conference was so put by your man of God. Because the Lord is giving someone an opportunity. To restore that love and that fire. For some of you, you've been around the things of church. But you have never truly taken God seriously. I'm going to count one to five. Wherever you are, those outside you may not, maybe you may just move to your screens outside for the sake of space. But those within here, if you belong to that category as I count one to five, honorably, I'd like you to run and come and stand here. One, run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand before Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of this. Give me a new beginning. And for all of us who are standing, please don't look at them. Just be praying. Talk to the Lord from the depth of your heart. Two. Are you coming to Jesus? Give me a new beginning. Give me a new beginning. Genuine relationship. Three. Someone is running to Jesus. Don't be distracted. The few minutes that we have, don't waste it. These are moments of destiny. If there's no space, just stand at the aisles while we pray. Come to Him. Come to Him. Four. One more count and we're done. If you're still sitting, please rush and join them. Here at this conference, after 20 years, God is opening a door for you. Hallelujah. Now, in Jesus' name, please listen to me. Some of you here are giving your heart to Jesus genuinely and sincerely for the first time. Some of you, I presume you're rededicating your, your life. Please, let it be sincere from your heart. No playing games. Let it be sincere from your heart. Young and old, I honor and I salute you. I truly appreciate you for the courage to come out. Those in the overflows, thank you. Following online, 
from whatever nation we're about to make the altar call i'd like you to be part of it right now you're following in your home your office your device please participate right now i want to plead with all of you who are in front can you lift your right hand as high high above your head to the heavens jesus is here I'm about to lead you to pray a prayer and I want you to pray it sincerely. A miracle happens when we pray. A miracle happens when we pray. More so when we pray in faith. Please say after me loud and clear, inside, outside. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I need your life your presence, your glory. I repent of my sin. I declare that I do not have the power to save or help myself. But I believe in Jesus. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin. That you rose again for my justification. Right now, I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from today and forever i am a child of god please keep your hands lifted father thank you in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that the lord is giving you a new beginning Please help two of them. The power of God is coming on two of them right now. There are two people just here. I don't know. I just saw that in my vision. Among those who are out here, two of them, I just saw the power of God coming on them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, this experience will launch you into a new season. Not, not, not just that woman. There are two independent people aside from her. The power of God is coming on them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. That the Lord himself will use you mightily. You will experience his grace supernaturally. And I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let this be the beginning of a new season in your life. A season of fire. A season of passion. In the name of Jesus. That you will love him above and beyond anything that is in this life. Nothing should take his place in your life. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now, um, I'm going to ask you, I presume, okay, what will happen is you return back to your seat rejoicing. If for any reason there is a call for those who have given their hearts to Jesus Christ, please do well to make yourself available. But before then, I'm seeing um, some counselors passing asleep. Do well to collect it before you go. Please be patient. Make sure you have the sleep. Can you lift it up? Let them see what it looks like. So uh, you can pick one, just pass it, make sure that you pick it, go back to your seat, you can just fill it legibly and hand it over to any of the officers after the service. The Lord bless you and honor you. Please let's rise as I speak over your life. We have about five minutes and we're done for this morning. The message tonight, do not forget, is that God desires to tabernacle with men. He's proven that man has always and remains his obsession. From Genesis to Revelation, God's object, God's motivation is love. The object of that motivation is man. Above and beyond anything else, he desires man. He loves man. He's unashamed to declare his vulnerability towards man. But for him to tabernacle with man, there are conditions that must be met. Chiefest among them, as we've discussed tonight, is the heart condition more than other spiritual principles that i'll be teaching you the heart of man and god granted us grace to look at the simple message through the life of david 
that a man can have that desire. Psalm 27. One thing have I desired. Let that be your desire. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. The grace to hunger. The grace to love Jesus. The grace to passionately desire Him. And to seek Him all the days of your life. I declare that that grace comes upon you now. Say Amen. amen. Say Amen. amen. Say amen. amen. And then I pray for you. Everything that fights that desire in your life whether it's an addiction whether it's a habit whatever it is in the name of jesus here at this conference we declare it broken forever any wrong association that fights that place of jesus in your life every wrong pursuit that attempts to fight that place in your life in the name of Jesus, you are set free from such associations. And I pray for you. May the Lord reintroduce himself to you. In visions, in dreams, through scripture, may you have fresh encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now and all through this conference, I declare fresh encounters. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, just just a counseling one or two minutes and then I'll be